Okay. okay everyone here we are in beautiful Los Angeles again and we are going to show you how to overpass preach with brother Jack and brother Paul so we will zoom up here and look at brother Paul's little contraption he's got going on here Paul if you'd like to explain to us your little okay this is the uh, holder this is half what half of the holder for the long thin banner and uh, all of this comes apart Everything comes apart and it folds down into, uh, you know, a thin lake thing. These come apart like that and uh, they reassemble. This is a, uh, it's basically made of three quarter inch PVC, three quarter inch PVC couplings and one inch couplings, which fit nicely over three-quarter inch fittings. Then you have two sticks which add a bit of spring to the uh is right. in here comes down into these sockets and makes a nice tight fitting mm -hmm. and of course all of this all of this is held together with the banner when you put the banner in it so some of this is loose difficult but it stays together nicely when you put the banner on put the banner on it stretches across You have these legs which hold it up off the ground. And once it's all put together, it's very strong. And we're going to assemble it down here. It's easier than doing it up there, so we're going to put this together up here. So I'll cut the video and we'll show it to you when it's done. Okay. attached with tie wraps. Very simple. Two holes at the corners. And then through the grommets on the uh, banner. This is a little complicated in a way. I mean it's really not that complicated. Uh, but this is really the only way you can legally do this in California on an overpass. I'm not sure where you are watching this, but it's a lot easier just to push this, put this on the overpass on the fence. And uh, though we can't do that here in California legally, uh, that is the uh, easiest way. That way you don't have to worry, you don't have to mess with this thing at all. As an aside too, it's nicer to have the longer tie wraps instead of the real short ones just because it's easier to uh, put them in there and have a little extra. Looking good. Just tightening them up a little bit there in the corners. And the finished product looks like. There it is, ready to go. You additionally have some other grommets here if you need them. But when you get it on here pretty good, you don't really need them so much. We're going to do the other uh, the other banner now, the same basic concept. 
to the other banner, depending on the configuration of the fences on the overpasses, use that one or this one. Or you can actually use both, which is what we're going to do today. Cut. This is what you call a pedestrian overpass. This is Paul's favorite kind of overpass. Wonderful traffic. We're going to hit thousands and thousands of people today. scary being up here. And this is really cool. This is really cool everybody. You gotta try it. I can't wait till we get home. We're gonna have to give her a try. Okay, there's Jack and Paul up there positioning the other banner.
The objective is obviously to communicate to all these people. Additionally, it's to encourage believers that go by. They see the boldness, they get bold. They're not so afraid because they see what I'm doing. That's what happened with Paul in the Bible. So that's, a, that's an encouragement. I have prayers for obviously the people here that uh, they respond to this and fear God and come to Him. I have prayers to God that what I am doing is an encouragement to believers. I pray that uh, I don't have any problem with the police or such as that. And uh, I pray that there aren't any accidents because, you know, it could happen. Uh, with that said, uh, in two hours on a freeway like this, just this, just this part coming this way, in two hours, there will be approximately 10,000 cars going under this sign. 5,000 cars an hour will go under this sign, and I can guarantee you virtually everyone is going to read what, what the sign says. Now, we're doing two signs today. You can see Jack down there with a the thinner sign. So he's catching this, this direction, and I'm catching this direction. Usually I do this by myself because, you know, it's pretty much a ministry that you have to have the time to do, and uh, most people don't have two hours in the day to get to a place to set up and to be here for two hours, uh, which is why I call this sort of like my retirement ministry, and uh, as you can tell uh, from the look of my youthful face, retirement is written all over it. Uh, prior to this, I did a lot of different things, preached on colleges, events, uh, all over the place in, in our country for the last 50 years, and then locally here in Southern California where there is a multitude of colleges and events and things like that. But I was getting old, and it was quite, a, quite an effort to do the colleges and even the events would have been. I, I happened on this, and the, the, like I said, the volume is, is amazing. The volume of people that I'm able to communicate to effectively with a sign that, that uh, you know, cuts to the chase, says it like it is, gets the job done. I can do this every day, two hours in the morning, two hours in the afternoon sometimes. Uh, it's just an amazing deal. It is unusual because it's California. And California, as you know, Los Angeles especially, has tons of freeways. It may not work where you live as good. I'm sure there's some freeways you can do this on, but you're probably never going to get anything like Southern California. With that said, if you have any other questions or would like to talk to me about it or anything of that nature, I can be uh, found uh, at P. Mitch at sbcglobal.net or preaching for him, P R E A C H I N F O R H I M at gmail. Question for you, Brother Paul. Do you attach the sign to the fence? Okay, you might note that I'm holding the sign. This is what is known in California as the legal way to be able to do this. It's not legal in California to attach the sign to the fence. But it's kind of like a law that, you know, not everybody, you know, like everybody isn't going to be that, that crazy about it for a number of reasons. First of all, I'm usually just one guy up here. I'm not 15 people causing this big distraction. But this is what's legal. I don't know what's legal in your state. It may not be legal to do anything. But this, this walkway here is considered public property. And it's because it's public property, you can stand here with a sign all day long. Okay, so, thank you. That's why I have the, uh, the, the framework. Okay. And uh, so I, I have no problems with the police with that, uh, with that setup. Okay. If the police come, how do you deal with the police? Okay, if the police happen to come, uh, I don't fight the police. For the most part, they want me to go, I, I'll, I'll probably go. It depends on the, on the person. It depends on the police officer. And 
I should say that police officers are all over with it when it comes to this. Some go under the bridge, give me a fist bump, high five, and honk. Some of them don't. But it's very complicated for a policeman to get off the freeway, to find the entrance to this. This is a pedestrian bridge, which is the best kind. You can do it on other bridges too, uh, regular highway bridges. But uh, all of this is very complicated for a policeman to do. So I've been on about 120 uh, overpasses since I started this about nine months ago. And I probably have had uh, discussions with the police maybe, maybe five times stops. And I, like I said, I don't fight them. If they're, uh, you know, bound and determined to get me off this bridge, I don't, I don't go into this. I'm, you know, I'm an American. I got my freedom and stuff such as that. But when you have, when you have a, a banner that's held by a frame and you're holding the banner, you are legal. So you could say, I am legal. And there's nothing, you know, nothing wrong with what I'm doing. The banner is attached to the fence, that's a different story. But in any case, I try to minimize my contact with the police by being cooperative, and uh, it works out a whole lot better than, you know, trying to fight and all that. You'll hear people honking as they go under. Those are believers. They are being encouraged as we speak. They like it. I mean, believers like it when they see something about God. It's an encouragement. So, okay. Well, if you would like to communicate with Brother Paul, just go to that YouTube down there, make a comment, and you'll c communicate back and forth. Sure. Okay. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. See you next time. Okay, Brother, we have a little PS here from Paul. Okay, uh, additional detail on building these frames. These, these have to be the exact dimension all the way across. You probably know that. These have to be the exact dimension. And additionally, on the feet down here at the bottom, it's good to have those uh, crutch tips on the bottom. That way it, it's solid on the bottom, doesn't want to slip out and, and go like that. So that's just a couple of additional things. Like rubber tips from crutches, you're crutch saying? Tips, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, thanks, Paul. Brother Paul, this is what they would see going down the interstate. And as you can see, when Paul gets bored, he brought his Bible along. He reads his King James Bible. He listens to some good Christian gospel music or whatever you think. Good retirement for us older folks that can't get around so well anymore. Good day. Okay, I'm back again. There's Jack in his position.